Yeah. So first off, uh, as we've discussed uh, on the pod and in our papers and our blogs and on social media, there are many different ways to to do security. Okay. First of all, you have the argument uh, of of perimeter, which is is dead because we know people can get in. And then there's the how do you get them out once they're in? And then if they screw with your data, how do you get that data back with ransomware? You know, we companies like uh, Cohesity specialize uh, uh, in that. <clears throat> but then you have different layers of of securing things at you know L0, L1. There's different methods. So uh, Infoblox is the leader in DDI service, and DDI is short for the integration of DNS. DHCP and what's called IPAM into a unified uh, service. It used to be during the good old days that you know each company would do this on their own. Now the challenge with with doing DDI yourself is that it takes a bunch of time. Uh, the least automated area is security out there, right? Compute, storage, data, check. And then you've got to wait, you know, a month to get your networking in order. That's because we're still using CLI and there's not a lot there. So um, with that said, Infosys, sorry, Infoblox, uh, with uh, its new CEO that I had a chat with, Scott Harrell, who used to work at, at Cisco, the company is really leaning into extending the networking part to security. And, and, it, and it totally makes sense. So the company introduced, um, well, first of all, we're about to go into RSA and they're, they're getting a, a jump uh, on the news, but what they're making the case is that uh, DNS and DHCP and, and elements like uh, Microsoft Active Directory uh, are, are very insecure. Uh, and the proof point on that is that how vulnerable DNS services are to DD, uh, DDoS uh, attacks that we see uh, all the time. So what um, Infoblox has brought out this week uh, in right ahead of RSA is lookalike domain monitoring, uh, which helps uh, you with perimeter security so somebody's not trying to spoof your DNS. So it's it's really as simple that, that the company also uh, brought out uh, kind of in a classic thought leadership way, uh, it's new uh, security uh, white paper. And apparently I saw some breaking news. That they, they also um, have found some huge exploits related to uh, Trojan horses. So very interesting company that started off as a DDI service provider, um, which by the way, you know, billions of, of these go through the company on a daily basis, but they're headed into security. And this is an overall theme that, Daniel, we've, we've seen before, which is networking companies that are leaning into security. And we've, we see security companies that are leaning into, into networking. So this makes uh, total sense. Yeah, Pat, I, I didn't have a chance to get too close to it, but I have been uh, watching uh, with a lot of interest Infoblox, uh, you know, come up under the radar consistently with the growth of demand around security. You heard my comments with IBM. It's becoming more and more critical right now. Companies have two lines that they need to be spending on, you know, beyond cloud. Cloud's a well understood operating model, but it's it's AI and not just generative, but really AI as a whole to automate, to help uh, maximize utilization of data, streamline. And by the way, AI is a huge opportunity for security. And the other is security. Right now, things like ransomware, uh, cybersecurity attacks, uh, intrusions are on the rise. Uh, you can bet AI is gonna be used to create it. So finding companies and technologies that are being uh, the most innovative and creative and capable to help you secure your business uh, from edge to cloud is is critical. So I'm I'm interested in continuing to watch the Infoblox story, Pat. Uh, look forward to getting briefed on them soon. 